Hey guys, I am Artosis, and welcome back to the CNSL Season 6 on Artosis Casts. Uh, we are right now in the round of four, and it's a best of seven between this man, YSC, our very strong Protoss player, and Soso, our last remaining Terran in this tournament. Uh, YSC right now leads three to one, so if he does win another map, uh, that is going to be his series to take, and on to the finals. Uh, so, so definitely, I mean, it's three to one, but the games have been pretty darn close. Definitely feels like so, so could have won. You know, it could have been three, one the other direction, right? Like we've had some very close games. So absolutely anything can happen as we go in right now to map number five on Nemesis. Uh, Nemesis, a four player map. You know, it's the one with all the crazy eggs and geysers and everything where you can kind of go along the edge of the map, open up and close locations as well. Uh, and yeah, that can definitely make it really, really interesting. Uh, anyways, while we kind of wait to see what these guys want to end up doing, I want to thank you guys for checking out our Tosis casts. Welcome back to the CNSL. I know a lot of people are happy uh, that we're getting back into this tournament and finishing it up at this point. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be doing that as well and, and figure out who's going to end up taking this tournament down. Uh, one thing I want to request is that you guys go ahead and like the video and leave a comment down below. Uh, you know, that always helps a lot to get more people to see the video, to check it out, to see what's happening. And uh, yeah, it's it's very appreciated, guys. So definitely leave that comment, hit a like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. So it is a forward gate here from YSC. Looks like he wants to put at least a little bit of pressure on. The gas has been taken as well and throws down that Cybernex Core, not starting a Zealot. So it looks like he does want to get very fast Dragoons. And yeah, we'll see if he wants to try to sneak a little Zealot out there too. Yeah, the Zealot does end up getting started. And in fact, he's going to go over here and scout uh, Soso first. Soso going up the map right now. So he might end up scouting pretty late onto YSC. Uh, the Marine is going to be coming out to push this probe back quickly as well. Looks like it should just be a factory expansion here from Soso. -So. Very well optimized. Getting that factory down quite quickly indeed. And the first Zealot is out. Should go directly into Dragoons from here. And we'll see, if, does he want to go into quick range as well? So the Dragoon gets started, and now we wait to see... Yeah, he's still mining with three probes on gas. So very, very likely that we'll see a range upgrade started next. And just this alone can put a lot of pressure onto Terran. You have to be pretty serious about blocking it. And we did see a little mistake on that Dark Origin game with the way that Soso -So tried to block uh, what was occurring at the beginning, right? Like he kind of overcommitted into the Zealots and the probe with the, with the Marines. And honestly, it kind of tipped the whole game in the favor of YSC. So here we see that it's, well, two depots so far, but fourth Marine being made, honestly, Almost every time that we see this type of configuration of the 4th Marine starting and the Vulture, it's generally better to just make the 3rd Depot. Uh, you know, it, you get Supply Block for an extremely long amount of time when doing it like this. But we'll see how it goes down. Uh, the Zealot comes in and does start fighting. Probe there as well, getting those extra hits. And a Dragoon comes up. Oh my god, he's actually dealing like way more damage than I thought he would. It feels like good targeting overall there from YSC. Not quite as good from Soso, -So, but he does get the bunker up. Gets the Marine in it as well. And he did end up starting that additional depot down there as well. Uh, gets the add-on for the factory, and I'm sure we're just going to see a command center get started. In the meantime, over at YSC's base. Yeah, looks like that range upgrade's still coming, and he's going to go ahead and get his Nexus going as well. So very similar timing as far as the expansions. In fact, pretty much exactly the same timing. And the Dragoon's going to run past. This is highly annoying. Now, obviously, the bunker still kind of zones them from this area. Uh, but they're going to come down, and range is almost done. They can actually harass this command center a lot. You can't let this happen. That's why he's bringing so many SCVs. And leaving. he is leaving a little bit in there because he needs to keep some Marines alive to, to keep other units from running in. A good micro there from YSC. Lots of damage being dealt right now. Uh, hopefully, we'll have that C tank out very, very quickly. As the SCV count is falling quite a bit. Look at that. Another Dragoon runs past. Takes the damage as they all run in towards that main base. Dive on a Vulture. Dive on a Marine. Is he going to be able to get the C tank too? Needs to target this uh, Dragoon as it is weaker. 
Oh, that's really kind of sad. Two hits would have killed this one. And, like, maybe with a repair or something, he could have killed the other one without losing the siege tank. But, unfortunately, it just seems like the micro here of YSC a little bit better. Oh, doesn't quite get him trapped against the egg either. Very, very painful to see. Another Dragoon runs by. YSC being a little bit crazy right now, just running everything by these bunkers. Now, with the siege tank coming out, he does pop that one. Finally everything is secure so let's take a look uh at where we're at in this game so ysc is going robo behind this and adding two more gates so it's going to be three gate observer his next is up he's up three workers right now so actually i thought he would be up more workers honestly after that harassment that we just saw he killed a fair amount of scd so it felt to me like he was going to be up five six workers he's up well four now three four uh somewhere in that range so not as bad as i thought it would be uh, and here, okay, yeah, Marines being produced and tanks being produced. This is exactly the way you want to follow this up. If your opponent is spending a lot of units as Protoss on that early harassment, what you want to do is make uh, units out of all the buildings that you can during that time and then do a counterattack because for sure your army is going to be bigger than your opponent's, right? That's It's like a great way to play it. So I'm really a fan of what he's done here. He is rallying up with vultures with mines as well which could be very useful indeed. Now, getting down here, there is range. Three Dragoons being made, Observer being made as well. And that travel distance, it, it took a while to get down here. So there are going to be six Dragoons in a moment, but there's only three right now. So this is the moment where we might be able to get some serious counter damage done uh, as as so-so. Now, he's just hitting the gate right now. He may decide to just take down the gateway. Yeah, this Dragoon actually pumps pops out on that side. That's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, it's hard to come through here, kind of single file, and make this attack work. So he goes ahead, kills that. As soon as the gateway dies, you see YSC jump forward. Look at that, targeting the mine. Very, very well done. Again, simply better micro from YSC. Simply better micro. No question about that. Uh, siege mode is on the way. It started only after that push failed. Uh, another siege tank. He has the armory, but no plus one going. Uh, the second gas being made. In the meantime, shuttle coming up right now for YSC. All right. Like, honestly, okay, looking at this, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Obviously, there's a big unit differential right now since there are three gates and he's going into Reaver. Well, there's not three gates anymore. There's two gates now because <laughs> he did kill that one. Uh, but the worker count is one of the metrics that you really do want to pay a lot of attention to in these situations. And as far as the worker count goes, it's really not so bad right now uh, for for so so. I thought it would I thought it would be a lot more one sided, right? Like maybe he's micron over there and not producing workers, but it seems like he did a better job of that than YSC did. So catches up a little bit. And with speed and the Reaver coming out, obviously he's going to need some defense against that. Puts a deep up here. We see some mines being laid around the missile turrets, just in case the Reaver comes in or any sort of shuttle comes in and tries to mess with these turrets. And yeah, going up to three factory and has plus one going. Like, all this is pretty good. It's all all pretty standard. Nothing, nothing too crazy. The Vulture sees that uh, for sure YSC is planning to expand back here. Of course, by killing one of these geysers, you're shutting off all, like, real units that you'd use against Protoss. Obviously, if you kill those eggs, Marines could walk through, but you're not really caring about that. And, in fact, he's going to close this off as well. So, the only way in is realistically going to be walking through there. Uh, but he can send Zealots through here. If it's one geyser, Zealots can go through, but Vultures cannot. So, that's a good way to maintain uh, a little bit of unit rotation being viable into that, into that base. All right, so going up to six factories, it does look like Soso wants to do a push. Uh, and I like the idea behind this as well. A lot of times, if you're if you're trading lots of units against Protoss, uh, generally they will be a little bit late on adding some of this, some of this new production, right? Because what they want to do is once you don't have any more army is take another base, right? So... We saw some investment into tech. We saw some investment into expanding here by YSC. And in the meantime, it was just consistent unit production as well as factory additions uh, from Soso. So he's actually going to get a really reasonable 
uh, you know, army size and maybe be able to push out here and get something done. Legs just started. That's kind of like the break point where you're going to be a lot more powerful as Protoss in this type of situation. I think based on what he's seen with the Observer going down and seeing the factory count, you probably just want to produce consistently, right? This is eight gates. So if he makes units out of eight gates nonstop, micros the Reavers well, it's going to be very hard for this push to, to end up getting a kill. But if YSC gets a little bit wasteful, right? Like what if he flies in with the shuttle to try to get SCV damage but loses it? Well, suddenly you're missing a lot of damage in your army. That's a place where Soso may be able to end the game with the push. But as is, if YSC just kind of maintains his production, right? Clears some of these mines, which I think he is going to be able to do, and micros well with the Reavers, it feels like he should be able to slow this down enough and Soso will make another plan, like expanding again. So right now, YSC spread out. He has an Observer kind of watching what's going on. Five Goliaths here. Five easily two-shot a shuttle, even if you lose one. That being said, it's a four two-shot a shuttle, but actually I like Terrans to go five because the Reavers will pick one off before the second volley. So that way, like even if they were to pick two off, the second volley will still kill the shuttle, right? So you get five plus three, that's eight volleys. So yeah, there you go. There's some, some quick maths for you in case you're British. All right. Uh, nothing else really going on here, right? Comsat scanners plus one armor is just unit production all day, all night from so so actually a really excellent siege just out of range blows up one of those uh one of those reavers now the army's getting very big for ysc very very big he is up a good eight workers but up uh another 20 plus supply on top of that so that's like basically think of it as like there's going to be 10 extra units over what we have for terran now that in and of itself doesn't just bust the terran army especially when it's getting to this size this is an excellent spread of siege tanks very good mines at the top. Very good anti-air. And as he continues to produce... Ooh, you got to be careful not to take big scarabs. That's four supply gone right there for one scarab. Six supply gone. You got to be careful about that. You want to get two groups of vultures. Two groups of vultures is where zealots just evaporate as they attack into you. So we'll see if he is able to continue this push forward. Some nice leapfrogging going on. The supply of YSC getting a little bit out of control here. 172 against 131. YSC kind of maintaining an arc. He wants to clear some of these mines and definitely very important to do so. If you let all the mines just stay there, the attack move will absolutely not work. You need to clear as many as you possibly can. It's an excellent scan to get rid of that observer as well. Even the scarabs, the reavers getting in on getting rid of some of these, uh, some of these mines here. Yeah, actually doing a pretty reasonable job. I think that's totally worth it. I know it costs money for the scarabs, but... And normally you don't see this, but that's a good way to get rid of more than normal. Oh, wow. That was absolutely a mistake. <laughs> Leaves the Reaver behind. Not sure what happened there. If there was an all-army hockey like StarCraft 2, I'd be saying that's what happened. But definitely a mistake. Loses those Reavers. Uh, picks up some high Templars into that shuttle, though. And, of course, Sidestorm going to be even more useful than the Reavers at this point in the game. Siege tanks moving forward. You have to be careful. There's a lot of mines here. You don't want to siege a lot of units on top of the mines. Sometimes it's okay to put one or two, but you definitely want to try to stay away from the mines. We got to zoom out for this. This is going to be a crazy battle. An almost maxed out YSC. He's got another 22 supply that are still making, and then seven off of that. So we're about 30 supply from a full max. Uh, and this is very close for Terran as well, right? Well, not to max supply, but as far as the actual army values going up against each other. This is a very good army from from Soso. -so. Now, here we go. The Zealots rushing down here. Turret's making a little bit of a problem. That that shuttle does have to turn around for a moment. Bringing the rest of his units back now. Resieging. Gets a pop on that shuttle. Only a couple high Templars. Oh, no. Actually, there were three that got out. Never mind. Uh, goes ahead, makes an Archon as well. Running into a lot of these mines, but the Dragoons themselves, once those Zealots are gone, are going to have a hard time Zealots being bombed out. Oh my god, he saved a shuttle of Zealots back here, which really helps out. That's going to make like three to four more tanks die than initially what it looked like. So kind of a crazy battle, but Soso's supply drops really, really significantly here. Both sides still producing heavily. Uh, you have to reinforce this as Soso. By the way, he did make a third command center. It looks like he overfloated it for a moment, getting that back. 
uh, as YSC is uh, laying off for a moment, but then immediately attacking in with his reinforcements, he's going to bust through this set of tanks almost instantaneously. And that right there, like losing the push before, well, he didn't lose the whole thing. That's the thing. He had five, six tanks left, then he had additional tanks coming up. But now that he's lost, like, everything and we're back down to, like, what is this, four tanks? That's where YSC can do what he likes. He could go carriers. He could just make mass nexus, right? He could go arbiters here if he wanted. Uh, you know, there's, there's like, a, a lot of things he can do because his army is so significantly bigger. Look at this. He's got, it's like 50 army supply against 100 army supply. Twice as large an army. Uh, even the Terran mech force can't stand up to that. So it's this is a this is a tough moment right now to come back from. All right, uh, it looks like he is going to take down these assimilators. Definitely needs to do that. These two tanks pathing very very poorly, unfortunately, are going to get caught by the dragoons. But he might be able to get them back. You have to get rid of that assimilator so zealots can't be attacking into your base. A new engineering bay being made. A few vultures kind of rotating around the map, seeing what they can do. But honestly. It's not much. It's a very big, wide open map, but nowhere to really hit, right? You could try to hit this base again, but Photon Cannon's already warping in all over the place. So YSC continues to mass up, getting back towards that max out supply. Good factory count, right? We have eight factories. 2-1 is on the way, but a little bit late. And now YSC is just going to run in and do an attack here. Soso's not even set up. He's just kind of assuming that he won't attack in. Uh, but unfortunately for him, this is happening right now. This is reality. The Zealot's going to get in, get on top of these siege tanks. And honestly, this is looking like game. It's it's hard to imagine ever being able to hold on here. Even some Psy Storms can come in, deal some additional damage here as well. Like, you know, he's choking up the area very well. The splash damage is doing nicely, but that is just entirely too much from Soso, or from YSC against Soso here, right? Like, he's bringing out, down his few siege tanks that were up here, clearing this area. And, you know, I guess he has enough tanks that he might be able to kill these Dragoons, but the writing is on the wall. More and more Zealots coming in. YSC has set up another base here, and it does look like we are not going to have a Terran in the finals here of the CNSL Season 6. So, so our last remaining Terran since the round of eight unable to beat YSC here in the round of four. Everything on fire. The upgrade's not going to be allowed to finish. You know, two tanks pop out. That's his entire army, basically, at this point. More SCDs going up and getting stormed to death. He does have this base, but that's not really gonna do enough for him. And, yeah, we should be seeing GG literally any moment. Zelt's running through these mines. And that's a big moment here for YSC. You know, he's had a hard time missing some ASLs, but coming back here, going to the finals, GG, YSC is your victor.